Hi guys, welcome back to my channel in Tina's Kitchen where today I want to invite you in and show you the way I make my most valued, most treasured, most amazing dish in Armenian history which is called dolma. Now dolma is also known as stuffed grape leaves and it is, you know, one of the most culturally based dishes out there. It has a Persian twist, there is obviously an authentic Armenian foreground to it. Um, I also like to combine the two and then mix in some spices, some extra herbs, some tomato sauce. I like to honor my mom in using her special sauce to top it. And those of you who've tried it, I think really appreciate that amazing flavor where it enhances the dish. It's infused with butter and tomato sauce and I don't know, it just adds this delicious finish to this amazing dolma that we're going to make. So just to get started, some of the ingredients that you're gonna need for this type of dolma, where it's a mixed combination, where we're gonna also use grape leaves as well as vegetables. And what I'm gonna use today are primarily bell peppers. So we have the red ones, the green ones, and I also like to stuff tomatoes. They're just so juicy and, you know, take in that meat flavor so well. Getting into the meat, I just like to use normal ground beef. I got this at the market. It's just organic, 100% grass-fed ground beef. Uh, you can use any type of ground beef you'd like. It's up to your preference. Um, the herbs that we're gonna chop in today, you guessed it, chopping again, I know. Um, so tedious, but so therapeutic. Uh, we're gonna be using two bunches of parsley, two bunches of cilantro, we're going to add in a little bit of fresh dill as well as scallions and we're going to use the entire scallion we want that onion and i also i'm going to throw in some leeks we're going to also mince in an onion add some garlic and then we're going to have some rice as well uh, it doesn't matter what type of rice you use today i'm just using normal basmati rice but again you can use jasmine or cow rose up to you some of the spices that I'll be throwing in today, this is where you get that differential and whether it's a Persian twist or an Armenian twist. And I'm combining it all today, as you can see. So with that Persian twist, we have the turmeric, I have paprika, salt, and pepper. Very simple with our spices. Although turmeric is not that simple, it does bring that beautiful color and it does enhance the flavor. I'm also going to be using tomato sauce in my meat mixture. Uh, it just brings it together and once you blend this in, you're going to just, the, the smell is going to be so captivating, you'll feel it. Okay, without further ado, I'm going to chop all these greens, get my vegetables ready, and I'll meet you in the kitchen for stuffing the grape leaves and the vegetables for an amazing dolma. So we're going to start off with our parsley going to cut off the ends and begin chopping. chopped up all our greens and you'll notice how your home has already permeated with this amazing aroma of the greens because there's so many different variations it just permeates the air so what we're gonna do is combine all our ingredients together with the meat and smash it in with our hands you just got to get in there it's just the true authentic way and we're gonna then stuff our grape leaves and our vegetables and put them over to the stove to cook
Now that we have our meat prepped, we're gonna go ahead and start on our vegetables. So I like to just go in, wash it out, dry it, and then cut the top off, save the top for later, and then we're just gonna cut out the inside. You can leave a little bit of the seed in if you want that added spice. I don't think these are too spicy, but we never know. And then I'll just move forward with the rest. all our vegetables it's time to roll our grape leaves now grape leaves are the quintessential aspect of dolma and they are very intricate in the way you roll them I'm not a professional I'm just a regular wife and mom so I do my best in rolling this so here we go mixture I wanted to show you where I saved a little bit of that um, tomato the insides of the tomato I like to place them in the dish as well to add that added tomato -y base flavoring so um, it even helps with keeping all of your ingredients secure to all of these larger chunks so we're just going to put them in and secure our larger vegetables Add in the 
juice. for the dolma to be prepared. So just grab your coffee, enjoy it, and I'll meet you back in 45 minutes. 